You're watching Satledge TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. Booker Prize winning Indian novelist Arundhati Roy could be prosecuted for a 2010 speech about Kashmir after a top official signed off on the move. 61 year old Roy is one of India's most famous living authors, but her writing and activism, including her trenchant criticism of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government, has made her a polarizing figure at home. A criminal complaint accusing her and several others of sedition had languished in India's notoriously glacial criminal justice system since it was first filed in 2010. But on Tuesday, VK Saxena, the top official in the administration governing New Delhi, gave approval for the case to proceed before the courts. The original complaint accuses Roy and others of giving speeches advocating the secession of Kashmir from India. Kashmir is one of the most sensitive topics of public discussion in the country, which has fought two wars and countless skirmishes with Pakistan over control of the territory. Tens of thousands of people, including Indian troops, militants and civilians, have been killed in Kashmir since an insurgency against Indian rule broke out in 1989. Roy became the first non-expatriate Indian to win the prestigious Booker Prize for her acclaimed debut novel, The God of Small Things, in 1997. She's also known for her passionate essays on the plight of the poor and dispossessed in India, occasionally earning the ire of the country's elite. In recent years, her work has marked her as one of the most high-profile critics of Modi's government, which has been accused by rights groups and others of targeting activists for criminal prosecution and working to suppress free speech. Reporters Without Borders has warned that press freedom is in crisis in India. Since 2014, India has dropped from 140th to 161st in its rankings of media freedom, including 11 places since last year. You've been watching Satellite TV News, and don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below, or indeed drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching for Satellite TV News. I'm Angus Scott in London.